Hello, my beautiful Fumi Nation. How are you? How are we? My name is Fumi Desalovold. For those of you that are stopping by for the very first time, and you are so very welcome. It has been, <laughs> it has been a hard week. It has been a very, very hard week. And uh, when I tell you, I am just trying to wrap my head around what's going on with this young generation. I still haven't gotten over Shinquela Robinson. I am still, you know, mourning her. And you guys sent me yet another gruesome story. I would have passed on it, but I feel as if it's an extension of Shanquella Robinson's story, where Shanquella Robinson had really horrible frenemies. They were not friends at all. And a lot of you in the comment section said, but for me, what happens if it's a family member? What happens if it's a mother or a sister? I will answer that today. Today's episode is about a beautiful, very, very young mother. Her name was Nyanli Solorio Rivera, and she had a three-week-old baby called Celine. Her little baby slept on her, just like Adrian. Adrian slept on me, on me, for six months. I breastfed him and he slept on me at night. On the 24th of September, she was shot multiple times. And because Celine was resting on her mother, she was killed too. The family members ran out of the house, called the police and said there were gunshots. They went in there and they were so perplexed because this beautiful 18-year-old mother and her three-week-old baby were dead. Come to find out. Seven weeks later, that it was her 22-year-old older sister, Yarli. She was the one, alongside her boyfriend, Martin, who shot her sister and her niece to death. Horrifying, but I am fully aware that you guys have mentioned this to me multiple times. There's jealousy among siblings, there's strange relationship with parents, and my advice will still be the same as to someone that is finding difficulty holding on to that relationship. It doesn't matter whether it's platonic, whether it's intimate, or whether it's a family member. You cut ties. You cut ties. The reason for this sister to shoot her baby sister and her niece was jealousy and envy. She said, that the parents paid more attention to her sister and her baby than to her and her two children. So out of jealousy and envy, she shot her sister and she shot her niece. And the police said that when she confessed, she still showed no remorse. Envy and jealousy. That was it. The same thing with Shanquella Robinson. Envy and jealousy. Well, the story is still developing and I will come back again with an update about Shanquella Robinson. But as of this one, envy and jealousy from your own sister, from your own brother, from your own mother, from your own father. And it's sad. It is so, so, so sad because so many of you have said, Fumi, Adrian should have a brother. Adrian should have a sister. So that they can grow up together because that is the norm. 
that you will have brothers and sisters that will be with you through this life. But the reality is that it doesn't always work out with all families. I will also mention this. I have a brother and I have a sister. I am the eldest. My sister is the youngest, my brother is the middle. I was the last to get married. I was the last to have a child. I was the last one to give my parents a grandchild. Never, ever, 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 once did I ever have a sense of jealousy. But I'm going to be very real with you. I felt, oh, when will my time come? Yes, I did. Because my brother got married first and Yinka came. And because we were all young-ish still, she was like our baby sister. <laughs> and I love Yinka and I loved her still. She's 21 now. And when Gunke had Fainty, Fainty was on my insurance policy. If anything happened to me, everything went to Fainty. As a matter of fact, Fainty brought my sister and I closer. I saw a side of my sister that was so beautiful that had really evolved because she had given birth to Fainty and yet again to Quincy. Never, never, never in my life did I ever think I am jealous, I'm envious, I have to kill my sister. That's so crazy to me. And when I, Ula and I were talking about it, Ula said, is she mentally okay? I said, yes. I said, yes. Because this is a thing that Fumi Nation have told me about sibling rivalry, sibling toxic relationships, envy and jealousy. For whatever reason, they are envious of you. For whatever reason, because as far as I'm concerned, if you're successful, that means that you can help them out. Or maybe one sister is dating a guy that the other sister likes. I don't know. It doesn't seem natural. And yet, it is very, very real. It's funny because when um, I read that the police said that she did not show any remorse, I went back to Godfather. And I think it was Al Pacino that played Godfather in his later years. I haven't watched it in forever. And for those that have watched it, do you remember when he went to the priest? I think he had uh, diabetes, so he always had to have some sugar. And I think they gave him orange juice and some biscuits and he was eating them. And the priest had said, I can see that you are bothered, that there is something bothering you. And he broke down and he wept and he confessed what had been bothering him. You could barely hear it. And he said, I killed my mother's son. You see, Yarli, you're young, you're 22. What you have done becomes more and more magnified as you get older. And you will realize that you killed your mother's daughter. You killed your mother's child. It will cover you like a heavy cloud your entire life. Apparently because it was multiple deaths, they will not even be up for parole. They will spend their entire lives in jail. So Yarli, who will take care of your children? And have you for once thought that your parents have lost two children? because of your devilish, selfish, envious act. If you have a sibling you do not get along with, it is not working out. You are two different people. It does not mean because you share the same blood that you have to be close. You are two different people. Go your way. And if it means that you have to cut ties, cut ties and live your life. You cannot live your life in constant torture, fear, anguish and toxicity. You cannot do it. You should not do it. I don't think you should. 
I don't care if you have the last name. I don't care if it's the only two children your mother had. And you would have to explain to your mother, I love you, Ma. I love you. But I have to do my own thing. Maybe further down, we can come together. But right now, I gotta go. Does it hurt you? Yes, it does. But then when I think about a story like this, oh my God, oh my God, the three week old niece, beautiful little baby that was just with her big eyes looking out. What kind of a monster are you? What is going on with this world, with this generation? She should spend her entire life in jail and never get out. Sibling rivalry is real. I get it. And if it is your mother or any member of your family, walk. If you're too young, where you still live in the house, make sure that you're studying. Make sure that you're always in school, that you're always at sports. You are never there long enough. Time will pass and you will be able to move on with your own life but you are not responsible for your siblings. And if your siblings feel that they are angry and envious of you because you are the one that became successful, remind them you are the one that did the hard work, that it was not handed to you, that you cannot continue to feel guilty for them or for whatever issue they have. They have to go for therapy. It cannot be put on you. You have to cut the tie. And I tell you this, will it hurt? Yes. Will your equilibrium be different? Yes. But I promise you, it will taper off eventually. And when you keep your distance, you will realize two things. Do you really want to patch up eventually? Or do you want to keep everything copacetic? Because this way, your mental health is intact. Because that's what it is. You need to protect your mental health. You need to protect your own family. You need to protect your own children. Because this person has become toxic. This is life, my darlings. It starts off with all these beautiful hopes and dreams. You have to continue modifying your hopes and dreams because things will change. And that's just what it is. You will have friends that are closer to you than some of your family members. Those are your brothers and sisters. Those are your brothers and sisters. And that is what Adrian will have because Adrian is an only child. He will have brothers and sisters with people that are not related to him. And that is okay. And let me tell you this. Don't ever feel guilty. Save your mental health. And in this case, as I have seen it, save your life. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notification button, and I'll see you all soon. May beautiful Yarly and beautiful Celine rest in eternal peace. You know, sometimes, I don't want to question God, but I, I sometimes ask and wonder because there are some things that just don't make sense. I don't get it. Why would you allow this to happen? I don't understand. I'm just so done crying. I'm just so done. 